Hi! Today I am taking a look at the Mold King Crawler Crane Model 17002. This has over 4,000 pieces, 12 motors, two battery controller packs. I'm going to go through a fairly quick overview of each set of bags to show you what the output is for each one as you construct this model through the process and spend a little bit more time once everything's built going through the core functionality, what's the capacity on this thing to be able to lift objects, and how much fun is it to play with after you're done doing the full build. So let's get into it. to look at is simply the scale of this. With the boom arm extended, this thing is massive. <laughs> it's incredible how far it extends and just the sheer scale of this model is really impressive. So let's get into some of the functionality, setting up the phone, Bluetooth connection, see what we get with all the controls. Okay, so I have both battery packs turned on. They are flashing. I am gonna to go to product selection in the app, scroll over, find 4.0 old. You want this yellow interface. I found one of them that has more of a blue interface. I wasn't able to get both batteries connected. So go to remote control, you wanna hit nothing working you hit the Bluetooth icon that's gonna connect now it should connect to module A one of the first battery packs and you can see that it has and that up and down tells me the top battery pack is on to get to the second one you wanna click 
the button on the second battery pack. It should now have two flashing lights on it, which should tell you you're connected to battery B. So when you go to B, now you can see I've got the controls for the lower battery pack. So it takes a little bit, turn both on, connect to Bluetooth, it will pick one of them to be battery number one, click the button on the second one, and you should be connected. Now you can flip between both to operate the different features of the crane. So let's see how all this works. I noticed that you do have some different settings for the power of the motors, I believe. So we're gonna to try to make this go forward and backwards in a straight line. So in order to do that, you have to use both controllers because each one controls the left tread and the right tread. So to go forward, you go opposite direction. But there you can see I'm on number one, it barely moves. If I go to number two. Now I did notice with the weight difference, this thing has some bounce to it. If we go to number three, you'll see even more bounce. And then everything else, you can go up and down with the legs, in and out with the legs. So we'll bring the legs out, we'll bring the legs down, lift the entire model. Whoops, too far. So you'll hear that noise. Then we go back over to number one. We can rotate. Go up and down with the boom arm. In and out with the boom arm. And up and down with the crane and the string. So pretty cool functionality. We'll do a little bit of a weight test and see what we get out of this thing. Okay, so the first test, I have this mouthwash bottle with some water in it. This is one pound. Let's see what we get. Go a little at a time. And as you can see, it's lifting up the one pound bottle. So one pound, so far so good. See what the next one does. We'll go up half pound, we'll go up to two pounds. Okay, so now we have two pounds in the bottle. Let's see what we get. A little strain, but it did lift it. Ooh, there's a problem. The rotation doesn't want to work because the weighting isn't correct. But it can lift. I would just need more weight on the back of it to allow it to rotate. So it can still lift two pounds, but start straining with being able to rotate. Get it back on the ground. Let's see if we can move it. So it works, but obviously a little clunky as you get more weight and it loses some of its balance. So there you have it, the Mold King Crawler Crane. Pretty impressed. Overall, this has some pretty good capabilities to it. Uh, the weight distribution being the biggest issue, so trying to balance out the weights that they give you for in the back of the crane, depending on how much weight you're trying to lift. Uh, I did have some issues trying to rotate, move things, it bounces quite a bit depending on the weight distribution. If you are gonna build this, I highly recommend getting some sort of different type of string. Uh, I did like this braided 
string that I got. Uh, I feel it's very strong. It didn't have a lot of flex, so I don't think you want to use fishing line because that has some stretch to it. But you want something that you can tie into a knot, so something like a cable. You, you would have to have something to crimp it with. You could do that, but I, I think it'd be overkill for what this is. So if you're having problems running the string through the inside of the boom arm, very confusing. The instructions really don't give you a lot of detail. It's just one image. I will put a link down below to another YouTube channel and video where the person that did that did an excellent job of showing how he did some modifications, but how to run the string through the inside of the boom arm. And I highly recommend watching that. You don't need to do the modifications he did, but it will give you a very clear picture and a much better understanding of how to run that string. I also had some issues with this I don't know if it's the braided wire or just this model in general. They show having three different strands around the top of the crane here with the lift arm. I was only able to get it to do two loops. If I did a third loop, then the weight of the hook wouldn't drop down. It would just, the string would just build up and the hook wouldn't come down. So I did make a slight adjustment there. But overall, everything else is stocked the way it was. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it if you're interested in this device. We'll see you in the next one.